Morgan Through Her Lens. I'm Morgan, and today we're in the Copper Belt. Copper Belt is a province kind of like northwest Zambia. It's Zambia is kind of divided into two pieces, and then north of the west section is Copper Belt. But anyway, we're here because Alex's family is from the Copper Belt and his gran is turning 90, so they're having a 90th birthday party for her. The really interesting part about where we are, we're on a farm. This whole place is a chimpanzee sanctuary. Back in the 80s, Alex's gran started a chimpanzee sanctuary. Chimpanzees are not native to Zambia, but they are native to the DRC, which is a bordering country and people smuggle them illegally into Zambia, which is how this chimpanzee sanctuary started. There's tons of chimpanzees. They also rescue other primates and birds and they'll rescue really anything. But um, yeah, it's like a really interesting place. There are so many animals here. Also, I completely forgot to mention that we actually flew to the Copper Belt. Alex's stepdad is a pilot and he has a plane. So we took that because the drive would have been like 10 hours, 10 plus hours, and the flight was like an hour and seven minutes. So it was so nice. But it was actually my first time flying since COVID. I haven't flown on an airplane since March 2nd, 2020, so over a year and a half. Morning! <laughs> and yeah, so my first time back on a plane in over a year and a half was a tiny, tiny little plane. And we're going back on it as well. So anyway, it went well though. I was so nervous. <laughs> All right, let's go. giant snake skin we found. It's from a black mamba, probably, which is one of the da most dangerous snakes in Africa. <laughs> you were perfectly made for me. I'm not the kind of person that acts this way. All my glass in my chest and I watch it that way. Never thought I could possibly hear myself say, yeah. Sun is shining in your big brown eyes. There's a second snake skin in the car. Should we be concerned that there's a snake on the loose? In the what car? do you mean a snake in the car? Hi, future Morgan here, just chiming in for a little bit of context. So, as I said, Alex's grand started a chimpanzee sanctuary back in the 80s which is still up and running to this day. It is called Chimpunchi. I will link some information about it in the description. Alex's gran also wrote a book about her experience, so I will leave that in the description as well. Chimpanzees are so smart, so inquisitive, just so human-like, and really just incredible animals, and I'm really excited to show you guys this footage. But yeah, let's check out some chimps.
Okay, last time I'm cutting in. As I said, Alex's grand turned 90, and she's a very adventurous lady, and two people arrived to her birthday party on motorbikes, so she really wanted to go for a ride, and at first people were very hesitant, but eventually we found a way to make sure she could ride safely, and it was so fun. She absolutely loved it, and it was really fun just watching her have such an amazing time on her 90th birthday weekend of all times. <laughs> okay, let's cut to that footage. Or a snowy mountain road To be in paradise Don't need diamonds or gold All the pictures we've been sold Paradise It's a simple state of mind It's the people by your side but only you can find Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you guys want to see more travel, expat, or Zambia content, definitely subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, at Morgan Thrillins. Did you just hear my shoulder crack? 
Um, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Whoa, oh, 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 oh